Good morning to everyone. Good morning to all my dreadheads. This is 1814 Dreadhead. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and for those who are getting ready to go to bed, good night. This, of course, is 1814 Dreadhead, Head, and I wanted to do a news article that came up. And what I'm going to do is I'll read maybe just a little small portion of the article and then just basically talk on the rest of it because I've been reading a lot of the comments and the comments are, they're not hateful comments, but it's comments that people really should not even really be asking. Um, it says here, coming from TMZ, it says, Mama June taking Anna's ashes on holiday trip to Disney World. And we all know who Mama June is. We all know about Honey Boo Boo. We, we know all of that, right? So let's just read a little bit here. It says, after suffering the loss of Anna, Chickadee Cardwell, Mama June and the rest of her family are spending the holidays at the happiest place on earth. And we're told Anna's remains are coming along too. Sources connected to the family tell TMZ before Anna passed away, they had all spoken about spending Christmas at Disney World in Orlando, Florida. And that plan is going forward because the family has rented a house in the area and will spend the week together. We're told the family has a small urn holding some of Anna's ashes and they're planning on bringing it with them to the rental house so they can feel like she is still there. And that's pretty much where I'm going to stop reading. Now, I was reading comments on many different pages and the comments, like I said, the comments weren't bad comments. However, just in my opinion, I feel like the comments really should not be made only because with us being individuals, everyone does things differently. So some of the comments were, I don't understand why they're taking her ashes to Disney World or Disneyland or any place else because she's not there to enjoy it. Uh, there was another comment. It's strange. Another comment. It's weird. Some people understood. Then you had another comment. It doesn't make any sense to me. What's the point? And so this is what I want to say. This is what I want to say. First of all, this is someone that they love that passed away. That, that's, that's first and foremost. This is someone that they loved that passed away. Secondly, there is no right or wrong way to grieve when you lose someone that you love. Some people handle it very well. Some people are in between handling it and falling apart. And then some people fall apart to the point of being just completely devastated and they need therapy and more to try to get back on the good foot if they're able to. And some people just never do. Right? So there's no right or wrong way. We are all individuals, right? As individuals, that means we are all going to do things differently. Everyone grieves differently. Some people don't want funerals. Some people don't want wakes. Some people don't want an open casket. Some people do not want to be buried. Some people do not want to be cremated. Some people want their ashes, ashes spread out on the ocean or a lake or a river or a pond. Everyone does things differently. So when I see comments of people saying that it's weird, you're weird. When I see comments of it makes no sense to me, you make no sense to me. And we're going to go tit for tat. That's how we're going to do it because this is a family member. This is someone they loved. And why would it be weird of them wanting to keep a piece of that person with them, no matter how small of a piece it is? What is weird about that? Why is it something that cannot be understood? It, of course, the person is gone. The body is gone. The soul, the spirit, every, it's all gone. But if it makes that person heal and get through that day a little bit more than they did the day before, what's wrong with that? Who are they hurting? This girl has been a part of their lives for many years and she's suddenly gone due to her fight with cancer. And we're on the outside looking in 
to a family and so many people are judging why they're doing what they're doing and I don't see anything wrong with it. I've seen people who have taken ashes of people that they love, family members and more, or just friends or even pets. And they've taken a little bit of that ash and put it in a beautiful locket and they wear it around their neck because it makes them feel safe. It makes them feel like that person or that animal or whomever is still there with them in some kind of way. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing anywhere that says that's not the proper way to grieve when you lose someone. There's nothing anywhere that I've seen that this says that's not the proper way to grieve. My mother has made it clear to me that if she passes or when she passes, I should say, no matter when that may be, and I'm hoping it's many years from now, that she doesn't want a funeral. She made that clear to me. And she made me promise her she does not want a funeral and she does not want an open casket. She has made it clear if you didn't want to see her in life, why would there be an open casket for you to see her in death? She said, just close casket, put a picture on the top. We're going to call it a day. You have to honor what that person wants. And then if they didn't have any specifics, then you do what you feel is best for you and your family so that you can carry on your day to day. The people on the outside can't tell you how to grieve. So for Mama June and everyone, I would say ignore anything that is negative, that is not healing or helping to heal the loss of a family member. Ignore that. I would ignore all of them. I would not respond to any of them, nor would I feel the need to come back and explain why I'm not responding. That's like telling someone to clean up their own house when you can't even clean up yours. It doesn't make any sense, does it? The family is really suffering, you guys. And if they planned a trip to go to Disney World, and that was a part of the original plan, and she passed away, and they still want to honor what they said when she was here, then taking a piece of her with them, ashes in an urn or whatever, and take, there's nothing wrong with it because they still want to honor that conversation that they had with her. That's just how I feel about it. This is 1814 Dreaded Head. Let me know how you feel about, you know, many of the comments that you may see here and there. I've seen a lot of them, but let me know what you think about the comments that you see running here and there about how people find it strange or weird or they don't understand or it does not make any sense to them or what's the point. Uh, This is someone who has passed away from cancer and the family is moving forward and grieving in their own way, in their own time. And there is no right and wrong way to grieve. And I do believe that people on the outside should not be coming in and telling people on the inside what they should or should not be doing when it comes to their own family. If Disney World is what they were set out to do, and then Disney World is what they want to do, then Disney World is what they should do. And if they want to take her with them in an urn and it helps them laugh a little bit more than it did the day before, I don't see what the problem is. I'll put the link below so you can read the story. You Let me know what you think. This is 1814 Dreadhead. I'll see you guys soon.